Hi, this is Rob Hanley with the Durham Duplicate Bridge Club on Thursday, January the 19th for the 399er game. We have two hands for you today. The first one is number five. So it's pass, pass to me. I have 11 high card points with six spades and five diamonds. A nice straightforward one diamond or one spade bid, real easy. Two hearts on my left, partner has Q bid three hearts. So uh, when partner Q bids the opponent's suit, when I have opened or overcalled, they're showing me a limit raise or better. Clearly my partner does not have much more than a limit raise because they're already a past hand, but they are certainly inviting me to game. I'm expecting something like 10 or 11 high card points. And I have to decide whether to bid three spades or four spades. Um, Marty Bergen has lots of sayings. One of them is six, five come alive. Uh, and the purpose of that saying is to suggest to you that you should take an aggressive stance when you have uh, a six, five hand. In other words, bid more aggressively. Your hand has lots of trick taking potential and it's what's called an offensive hand, not a lot of defense. Uh, you want to be playing this kind of hand. So, um, I'm not going to bid three spades. I'm going to bid four spades. Uh, and uh, I don't think I need a lot for my partner to make game here. So let's see. All right. So partner's got a really nice 11 count for me with four spades. Now, uh, they've led a diamond. And when you have a big fit with like in a side suit, in this case, five diamonds, the ace king, obviously queen doubleton, and somebody leads that suit, it really should, should send off warning bells. You should be worried about a singleton. Uh, so I want to do everything I can to make sure that the West robot does not get a rough in diamonds. So I'm going to start by picking the queen of diamonds. And now I have to decide how to play the rest of the hand. So clearly I'm missing two aces, the ace of clubs and the ace of hearts. And I'm missing the king of spades. So if that was a singleton diamond and I take the spade finesse and it loses to the king and east has the ace of clubs, then west will return a club. It'll take the ace. They'll give their partner a rough in diamonds and I would actually go down. But if we back it up a second and say, well, is there a safety play here? What if I just play a spade to the ace and exit a spade uh, and the spades are 2-1? then West would get his king of spades, but he would have no more trump to rough with. Uh, and it doesn't matter then the layout of the of the outside aces and how many diamonds West has. It means that I would only lose those three tricks, the king of spades and the two, uh, two aces. Um, if I was playing teams, I would definitely play small to the ace uh, as a safety play because at teams, at imp scoring, it's more important that you make game contracts for the bonus than you worry about the the over trick at match points it's a tougher call uh if if i could still play the safety play uh to guarantee the contract but to some degree match points is about greed uh and in this case uh, i'm actually going to take the finesse uh, but i can easily be convinced not to do it it's that close there you go there goes the king okay he's catching that Okay, that solves that problem. And it certainly looks like the rest are going to be mine. Uh, and I'll well, just uh, take the king, pitch club, and uh, now I'm going to draw the last outstanding trump, and the rest are mine. And I'll just claim the rest of those tricks. All right, so I, I, I made 10 tricks uh, in spades. So game was there. Now that we can see all four hands, look at that north hand and get rid of the two kings. And just look at the queen jack of spades four times and the queen of diamonds. Because do you realize that I didn't need those two kings? I can actually take 10 tricks if partner has a five count. That's the power of 6-5. Uh, so uh, when you have that kind of distribution, you should be looking to bid one more, take an aggressive posture. All right, uh, let's uh, switch to the next hand, which is number six. One spade on my right. 
I'd like to bid those hearts, but I just can't. I don't have enough high card points to be bidding two hearts. That would show an opening bid with a decent five card suit. And I just don't have it. And it's not like the hearts are King, Queen, Jack, 10, nine, six times. That might get me to do it. But without that, I'm just going to pass. The auction is live. I don't know what anybody has. So the West Robot could not bid. So that's a good sign for us because it means my partner probably has some values. They've made a takeout double. So when you're responding to a takeout double, uh, there are actually a step series of step responses that you make. Uh, to start with, uh, if you bid a suit without a jump, in other words, in this case, because one spade was open on my right, if I was to bid two clubs or two diamonds or two hearts, that would show zero to eight high card points with four or more cards in that suit. So it's, uh, it's a limiting bid and my partner will know to take, to, to be careful because I'm gonna have nothing if I make those bids. When you have nine to 11 points, you should jump in your suit. Uh, in, this in this case, I have a nice uh, nine count and I'm gonna to jump to three hearts. Bearing in mind, this only shows four hearts. It does not show six hearts. Uh, but it does show 9 to 11 points. And partners followed up with 3 no Trump. So the first thing we need to recognize is the partner does not have four hearts. Uh, partner has what's called a strong double. Uh, it looked like a takeout double to me initially, but they uh, disabused me of that not notion when they pulled it, either to a suit or in this case, 3 no Trump. So my partner has 18 or more high card points. He has spades probably double stopped. And they're going to be semi-balanced at worst, usually balanced. Uh, and uh, so the decision I have to make now is do I pass three no Trump or do I bid four hearts? I could be in, in some trouble sometimes if uh, the uh, West robot had a singleton spade. It's possible it could go spade to the ace, rough a spade, back into an ace in a side suit and then rough another spade. Um, but conversely, 3 no Trump could be in trouble uh, if um, they drive out my ace of diamonds and partner doesn't have a lot of hearts. It, it might not be that easy to make. So I'm, I'm going to take uh, a pessimistic view <laughs> and I'm just going to bid four hearts because I'm expecting my partner's probably got two or three hearts. And let's see where we stand. Okay. Wow, partner has 19 high card points, a really nice hand. Uh, they have one heart, at least the, it's the ace. Uh, nice spades. I'm a bit concerned about that rough coming. Let's see how this goes. So we're going to play a spade here. And east has switched to a diamond. So that's interesting. Why do you think east switched to a diamond? It's not just that there are three small diamonds in the dummy. It's that they're worried that I'm the one with the shortness in spades because I pulled three no Trump to four hearts. So what they're trying to do is establish some winners in a side suit rather than lead a spade back to the king, queen, third and have me pitch a whole bunch of losers. So there is some justification for them switching to a diamond. Uh, and it does create some extra problems for me as we'll see. So I'm going to start by winning that trick. And I've got to draw the trump as fast as possible. So I'm going to take the ace here. And by switching to a diamond, as it turns out, they have made it hard for me to get back to my hand to draw a trump. So I'm going to start by cashing the ace of clubs and the king of clubs. Everybody has followed so far. I could rough a club at this point. Uh, that would put me in my hand. But depending on how the uh, trump split won't actually, like I'll have to get back to my hand again. So I think I'm going to take a different route and I'm going to cash the queen of clubs, throwing the jack of diamonds. It's a loser. Uh, and if somebody roughs, that's okay, but I will have gotten rid of a loser in the process and West wouldn't be able to get back to East. As it happens this time, the queen of clubs won a trick. That's great. I got rid of that diamond loser and still I need to get back to my hand. So I'm going to rough a diamond this time, not a club. They're now good. A rough small. I'm going to cash the king of hearts. Pitch that diamond I don't need. Wow, the queen of hearts dropped on my right. So my jack is now good, but it means the robot on my left started with four to the ten. So I'm going to cash the jack of hearts, pitching spade. Now the robot on my left has a good heart. It doesn't really matter what I do. I'm just going to let him have it. 
uh, and the rest will be mine. So I'm going to win the return and cash my two spades. So there you go. Managed to take 11 tricks this time in hearts. Um, it's interesting that if partner had played in three no trump and East found the king of diamonds lead, this contract would be quite difficult. Now, I'm not saying that they're going to find the king of diamonds lead. That's kind of a Hail Mary lead uh, until you see my hand. Um, and it's far more likely they just lead a small spade. Uh, but I'm still happy that we were in four hearts. All right, that's it for the, today. We'll see you next time. Thanks.